Hello everyone, Excel has it here, and today I'm going to be playing some more Rocket League and showing you some tips and stuff to get better as you just start as a rookie. Join a match right now. So, I have just started playing a few weeks ago, so I'm going to tell you some things that I have learned. If you've already been playing Rocket League, you probably don't need to really watch this video. Or you can watch it just for fun, but don't need the tips. So here you always want to boost and then like jump at it or do whatever. Because everybody boosts at it and if you don't, they're going to end up getting the ball first. You want to jump at the ball a lot. You don't want to jump at it all the time. Whenever it's backwards, like right now, there's a way to, um, there's a way to jump at it without... Um, like can it forward. I just did a terrible play right there, so that's why I scored. Um, so yeah, we're gonna boost right here, jump at it, he's gonna do the same. I have no boost. See, that's, that's what I need to learn right there, is really hitting the ball. You wanna take your time with it, try your best at hitting the ball. Um, it's super hard to control, I'll tell you that. Here's a goal right here, though. Yeah, um, that's what you'll have to try and learn, just like me, is just controlling a thing. I never use ball cam. I feel like ball cam is super hard to use. By the way, you can go up that wall and hit it if you need to. Okay. And then the orange things on the ground, um, I'm sure you can tell, are boost, uh, which help you go faster. Okay. So, um, then you'll see this little white circle below the ball. So, if it's high up in the air, you'll know where it's going to be dropping at. Okay. I'm going to get back on defense. As you use boost and you go over these things, you get your boost back a little bit. Okay, where's this guy at? Oh, it's all over here. I'm gonna stop right here, wait to see what he does. Misses it. I'm gonna just hit that down. Then follow it. And then if you're playing some team ones, you wanna try doing your best to hit it to the middle and have them stand back a little bit and then hit it in the middle. He might end up scoring this because I have no boost. I tried. Yep. See how I was flipping backwards? You just gotta uh, aim back and then hit the jump button. Sadly, I cannot get in time to do that, which kind of stinks, but I don't know. Let's see. Ah. Uh, so I was trying to hit it on the edge right there. Okay, that's how you hit it backwards. Um, that's really unlucky and it goes straight to them. Um, but that's how you hit it backwards. I'll probably end up losing this match. This guy's really good, it seems. That might go in. Nope, nope. One thing that I've been learning how to do is to hit it up while it's in the mid air. Um, so like if it goes high up in the air, you can like fly up with it. Uh, he's going AFK for some reason. So hopefully I score this and I won't because I'm not that good at the game. But then square is a drift. So if you need to turn real quick, oh, and he forfeit. He lost connection. Well, that's okay. Right here, you can just jump around, aim up straight in the air, and then use O. That's how you can like fly up like that. And then you can just ready up right there to get into a new match. So I might be versing him again. But those are a few tips. Okay. Now we're in the second match because the other guy lost his connection. Same thing. Boost and jump at it. I'm just going to go up. Try hitting it to the center. Like that. And I whiffed it. I'm gonna hit it down there like that. 
and it somehow goes over here, so I'm gonna use my boost and get back on defense. Hit up. Um, this is where you wanna use the drift to try and look at the ball the best you can. It's kinda hard, honestly, on, um, like, controller, if you're on PlayStation, Xbox, it might be trouble for you like it is for me. That guy hit it right before I was gonna hit, which stinks. Now I wanna boost to get back on defense to stop him from scoring, just like that. Um, gonna head back, drift, see where the ball is. It's over here. So I gotta just track where the ball's gonna go. And then the more you play this game, the more you'll kinda learn the timing. And the good thing about this game is that it's skill-based matchmaking. So if you just start and you're not very good at it, like me, um, it'll kind of uh, help you a little bit more. Okay, it's coming out on this side. He's going to hit to the middle. I'm going to wait right here. Hit it out. It's a good save. Sometimes you get badges and stuff if you do a good save. For some reason I didn't get right there, which kind of stinks, but that's okay. I'm gonna go up this wall. Yeah, you can go up the walls and stuff to try and hit it. And then if you see the regular orange things on the ground, that just gives you a few things. If you see like a uh, orange and with a full circle on it, that means oh, what a save by him. That means it'll give you 100. Okay, I'm gonna get back. Drift, see where the ball is. Uh, it's over here. I just got a hundred from that thing, but I am making a few mistakes. He's gonna almost score that. Big save right there. I'm gonna use the wall to my advantage. And this guy's doing really good on defense. Okay, going back. I made a huge mistake and missed the ball completely. Did it again. So I'm just gonna head back drift to try and get it from a better angle okay I see it. it's over here I'm gonna hop out hit it like that and I get really unlucky but that's okay because the more boost you have the faster that you can go and then you, the use backwards you have to hit L2 and then go backwards like that Okay, he just hit it more to the center. Gonna do this, drift, and go. Yeah. Well, that's all the tips I know right there. Um, I'll try and teach you how to fly. Uh, I'm honestly still trying to learn that too. You just wanna have the thing wherever you can like control your character. You wanna aim up, or look kind of up. Uh, jump, and then hit the boost button, the jump. I just tried it right there. Not very good at it yet, that's what I've been trying to learn. It's really hard to, to like, um, do like a boost and um, like a turn, I don't know how to say it, like a jump and a turn, I mean. Um, and I just got like exploded. If they are like doing the boost and they hit you really, hard it like breaks your car this guy's doing really really good especially at goalie so let me just track down the ball jump at it hit down his zone you do want to come back like that to try and do some things and miss the wide open net I'm just gonna hit there i got that orange thing hit it in sideways in in with 13 seconds left so when you hit it in sideways, you want to aim over to the right or the left, and then jump that way, and then you'll hit it. It may sound a little bit confusing, but it's easier than it may sound. Honestly, I'm going to just get back, try playing a little bit goalie, see where it's at over here. One, once it hits the ground, it's done. Bam. 
And that's how you win. You wanna jump up, look up in the air, and then just fly. <laughs> so those are some plays to uh, try and get a little bit better at the game. Um, you probably wanna watch different videos if you wanna get better than that, but that's what I know so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video on how to get better at Rocket League. Also, if you want to get more cars and stuff, you can find these little challenges things, like I just unlocked this crown, so I can just equip it now. See, now I have a crown. Um, but that's how you get cars, different metal thing, like now it looks like this or something. Um, but yeah, that's how you get more cars and stuff like that. But anyway, that'll be the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to go subscribe to Excel and Excel Extreme Gamer, and I'll see you later. Bye.